Okay, so that was Grindelsh again. And we're going to try this one more time. Um, so what we're looking at, we've got some changes to the base UI uh, based on how Domino's behaves now, as well as some new mods um, that uh, greatly enhance both Domino's and the N52. Now, the first thing is that Domino's has changed up a bit, um, and I've gone to a new layout. Um, uh, you, if you notice, I've got five action bars showing down here. Um, so let's pull up the Domino's interface real quick. Okay. So you can see what's going on. I'll turn all my action bars on. Okay. And you'll notice there's a little padding room in front around these. Uh, padding 10. But also the scale brought down to 75%. This is the normal size bars. Um, <coughs> one of the things I've noticed in playing was that mostly all I was paying attention to, once you get to know where all your abilities are, is for the timers. Uh, whether you're out of range, whether you're out of mana, whether they're on cooldown. Well, if you've got mods that show the cooldown, and you've got mods that show the out of range and out of mana, you don't actually need to know exactly which icon it is. You know where it is. Uh, sort of like the speedometer on the dashboard. You're just looking for it to be straight up and down for 65. You know where 65 is on your speedometer. Same thing on this. So having it full size really wasn't necessary. Just need a visual reminder on here, which is the one of the side benefits of having your on-screen maps of where your abilities are. You know where to look for them visually, so you know what you're looking at for your cooldowns. So, more room for action bars. Well, why have more action bars on the screen? Well, one of the side benefits of this is you get things like, for instance, here's our main action bar. Shift, Control, Alt, Control, Shift. Uh, which, um, you may think, okay, so you're, you know, three keys, three key bindings now? Well, because of how the N52 beaten keys are actually laid out on the device, um, B01 and B06, you can actually hit at the same time with your pinky, um, or with your ring finger. And then that allows you to get at the other nine. Um, so you can actually have control of, like I've said, up to five action bars on screen simultaneously. Now, one of the things that this opens up is these actually all in here are all macros for another mod, and I'll show you that mod here in a second. So let's go ahead and uh, roll back through this. Now, the basic layout here, we're still looking at the same thing, though. Uh, we're looking at uh, quick paging. Now, this is the normal page, uh, quick page 2, um, stealth, and shadow dance on, here, let's see, rogue. So you can see stealth is on bar 10. Shadow Dance on bar 9, um, and you can see quick paging, it goes to bar 2, this one goes to 6, this one goes to 8. So here you've got a visual layout of the actual paging as well as the uh, class rollouts as well. Alright, um, I don't want to get into the rogue layout right now, just this is the general layout, the changes for like Druid or um, uh, Warrior and stuff. So anyway, that's that. Let's see, turn these back off. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, that was number one, Domino's. A little bit of a change in how layout and what you're looking at. So you get some more information in about the same room, same amount of room, and uh, actually gives you a better layout of what you're looking at. Um, okay. So these macros over here, now you see they're things like OP food, o OP consumables. These are actually macros for another mod called Opi, uh, which Opi uh, allows you to bring up on-screen rings. So, for instance, here's a list of all the rings I have built, um, and let's go look at, for instance, the mounts ring. So, for instance, in here you can see I've got mounts, and it looks like I've only got a couple. But what I really look, no, I don't have the rocket. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, but what I'm really looking at is this is actually a, a link to my Hearthstone. This is actually a link to my big Blizzard Bear. This is a link to a subring called Ground Mounts, Fast Ground Mounts, Flying Mounts. So to show you what that looks like in practice, hello, thank you. This is that macro, OP Mounts. And this being Control Shift, this is Control Shift uh, B0, uh, B10. So Control Shift B10 brings up this macro down here, um, which now we're looking at Opi. Um, let's remember we had Hearthstone, we have Big Blizzard Bear, we have a subring for ground mounts, 
This is the only ground mount this character has. And a striped lightsaber. Uh, ground mount. Fast ground mounts. This is the only fast ground mount this character has. Flying mounts. He doesn't have any, so he gets a default icon. Um, so, for instance, you click on Big Bear and it tells you you can't mount here. Um, why I can't mount here? I don't know, but uh, apparently I can't. Alright. <coughs> Moving along. So you can create sub rings. So, for instance, we go into, uh, let's look at, say, fast. So, for instance, one of my characters has a fast ram. One of my cap, uh, paladin has got his charger. This guy's got a swift storm saber. The only ones that show up, though, are the ones he has. So you don't get a whole list of useless items. What that lets you do, though, is set up one ring and use it across all your characters and have it be, you know, here's all my fast mounts across all my characters, and boom, I get at this character's fast mount. All right, so there's a whole bunch of those. Um, so we've seen uh, sub rings. I, mean, I actually haven't seen sub rings because there's nothing on the sub ring, so the only default item shows up. But we'll do, for instance, um, food. So here's the food ring. Okay. Now I have another one that pulls up all of my health and uh, healing and maintenance items. This one here, consumables, which has food as a sub ring. Um, also my health potions, so I have all my health potions in there, and whichever one he currently has, that's what comes up there. Obviously not very effective for the middle of combat, but still available. Mana potions, he doesn't have any. Uh, mana drinks, doesn't have any, he's a rogue. Liquors. Now, <coughs> you'll notice it flips over. Um, uh, currently volatile rum, there's a second item out here. The way you get to that is using the scroll wheel on the mouse to certain... Um, scroll the sub rings. So I scroll the scroll wheel and it switch over to Rum's Rum Black Label. Same with the food up here. I hit the scroll wheel and it scrolls around. Um, bandages. I've got all the bandages listed in there. That's the only kind of bandage he currently has, so that's the only one listed in there. Now, <coughs> you may notice that uh, there's a list. You see the one, the two, three, four, like that. Those are all um, key bindings that are options within OPI uh, that allow you to uh, choose that item if you press the number. Well, you're in 52, uh, the binding system that I use, uh, uses the numpad, or number of values. So for instance, B02 is bound to 1, so if I hit B02 right now, I get item 1, which happens to be my baby blizzard bear. Um, so you can Using OPI, I can go give me my ba my things, give me item number two. Takes two key presses, but using N52 with action bars, with the macros, with OPI, I can now get at the sub menus using just the N52, um, which greatly speeds up if you cut once you customize them your accessibility to a lot of these drill down items. That normally, you know, okay, I want to get a specific pet. Well, I'm gonna go to character. I'm gonna go to pets. I'm gonna go find the pet I want. Uh, I want the Warple Tinger, okay, summon. You know, versus, okay, go in here and give me the Warple Tinger. I just put them away. So, you can create these drill down menus. And the thing is that there's a lot of menus that are pre-configured. For instance, your tracking menu. That's a uh, control shift 5 I've got on here, wherever you put it. Um, and so, for instance, they can say, mm, yeah, track uh, poisons reagent because I'm running low. And now I'm tracking poisons. Um, uh, track me, uh, let's see, track a flight master, that's item 9, right? so now I'm tracking flight masters. Alright, so you can use that for those kinds of items. Um, very helpful. One of the ones I've discovered is you can create emotes. And you can create your own emote and create rings, so that way you can get at all these emotes. Um, a tactical one, this one I found the most useful is ready check, so I can create a ready check macro. Obviously I'm not in a party so I can't use it right now, but you know, chicken. Always a useful macro to have an emote. You know, not particularly easy to get to in the middle of combat and you kinda gotta remember what they are, but you know, it's it might be easier than typing it in. I haven't really had a whole lot of chance to use it, but it looks like it might be fun to play with, so I'll give it a try.